like last year, uh, the most frequently tested uh, concept. What do you think is the most frequently tested concept last year? Make a guess. Mm, this one. Uh, uh, this one have one. Equal. Equal concept as well as remainder concept. And uh, DST, all the speed. Everything about speed. The speed addition, the minus as well as DST ratio. All the speed heuristic. It was tested. So if you knew about the DST ratio and all the speed stuff, uh, you'd be fine. This question actually had $100, so she used up $50. What is one fifth of the remainder? So, remainder concept the first thing that you will always see is the word remainder. So, whenever you have a remainder concept, what's the first thing you need to do? We use a drop down remainder. Okay, so where is the drop down remainder? Can you see that in this particular question, it is uh, this one? Okay, this, this thing. So, we drop down. Right, we drop down the remainder because uh, the question is asking about one fifth of the remainder. It's not one fifth of the whole thing. So most students make the mistake of taking one fifth of the whole thing, which is wrong. We only want one fifth of the remainder. So what do you do the remainder? Break into how many parts? Five parts. So one fifth, right? And you realize that hey, this is fifty dollars. So one fifth of the remainder will be ten dollars. Simple. So this is called drop down remainder now. So next question, next type of heuristic is called the repeated identity. So what is this repeated identity? So if you look at the ratio, we have A is to B, 1 is to 2. So the ratio A is to B is 1 is to 2 and the ratio of B is to C is 3 is to 5. So usually in repeated identity, there's one fella that is being repeated. Now in this particular case, can you tell me which fella is repeated? B. B, yeah. B, person B is being repeated. So what do you need to do when B is being repeated? Yeah, yeah, make it the same, right? So currently, is it the same? Yeah. No, it's, it's a two and a three, so we don't like. Huh? We want it to be the same because they're the same person, correct? So same person means. I mean, let me adjust this. So same person means that the repeated identity has been same. So we make it six. So for us to make it six, uh, what has to happen to this first ratio? Times three. Yeah, multiplied by three. So so one times three becomes three. And then here, to make it 6, 5 times 2. So all right, so we get the entire picture. Uh. So A is to B is to C is 3 is to 6 is to 10. Simple. Repeated identity. Okay, so next heuristic, which is equal concept. Now, equal concept heuristics, um, there are two types of equal concept. One is the numerator same. The other type is the denominator. It's the same. So you gotta figure out uh, which heuristic to use. So in this particular example, they say that one quarter of A is two third of B. One out of four of A. What is the focus in this particular question? Is it the four or the one? The one. The one. It's a one quarter of A is equal to. 2 out of 3 of B. So once again, what is the focus? Is it the 2 or the 3? The 2. Uh, the 2. So if 1 quarter of A is equal to 2 out of 3 of B, that means the 1 should be equal to the 2. two. Okay? So what do we do? We make the numerator the same. Okay? We make numerator the same. So what is missing over here is that uh, there's actually a working. So if I want to make numerator the same, what can I do? times this one times 2 correct so a uh, numerator times 2 so the denominator also times 2 so it becomes 8 and b just remain the same so it's 2 over 3 so this will become 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8 and this is just 1 2 3 so the capacity of a will be how many units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8 so a is 8 unit b is 1 2 3 so far is it okay? Uh, numerator same. So when this is 8 and this is 3, uh, and the question is what is the what is the ratio of A to B? 
So it's just eight to three. My favorite question, supposition, heuristic. Okay, so supposition, heuristic. Here's an example. There are forty cows and ducks in the farm. So altogether, forty animals. Forty animals. There are a total of hundred forty legs. <laughs> so how many cows and ducks are there? So supposition. First of all, to do supposition, you need to know how many legs does a cow have, and how many legs does a duck have. Cow got four, right? Uh, and duck have two. So now we supp now supposition how it works uh, is you suppose all forty of them are cows, or you can suppose all of them are ducks. Just suppose. So in this particular example, we suppose every single one of them are cows. So one cow has four legs, right? So we take forty times four. There should be one hundred and sixty legs. But what is our target? 140 Our target is 140 But our supposition give us 160 So we are off target by how much? 20. 20 Off target by 20 So how come we are off target? It's because we we add, we, we, we assume they are all cows And what's the difference between the number of, cows, the, the number of legs a cow have And the number of legs ducks have? 2, Two right? Ah, so we are off target because of the 2 We are off target by 20 because of the difference of 2 So we take 20 divided by 2 equals to 10 And there are 10 ducks 30 cows So if you want, you can actually double check What do you mean by double check? That means you take uh, We say there are 10 ducks, right? So you take 10 times 2, that's 20 legs And then 30 times 420 120 plus 20 is equal to 140 yeah. Double check Now what is another way of doing this particular question? Guess and check Why is it so long? Does it matter? Mm, it's you still get marks You understand? Yeah. Okay, so let's say if you really don't know like, I, I, I do supposition but then I still cannot get the number of leg all wrong la. I got one, one more leg and one more leg come from where? <laughs> you know? Then never mind, do guess and check you understand? It's okay, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. So for concept, uh, you need to understand that if you take A plus B, that's one whole. So A is one part, B is another part. So you get one whole. So if you want to find A, what do you do? You take the one whole minus B, you will find A. So another scenario, can two units of A equals to total minus more. So the total, this is the total. You minus the more, the extra thing, you get two units. Then, if you want to find one unit of A, what do you do? Oh, you got to divide by two, so the answer divide by two. Okay, so sometimes it's not just two units, you get one, two, three, four. And then after that, this guy got more. Alright, this one more. So what do you do? You take the total, uh, if you divide, uh, sorry, if you take the total minus the more, you're going to get four units right so if you want to find one of them it's just divided by four so whole part concept a, a lot of little parts come together to make one whole okay so you minus the excess minus the excess uh, stuff then you divide you can find the uh, number of units now uh, okay this is my favorite value and units okay my absolute favorite is your favorite also mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you like units, huh? I prefer value and units. Why? Uh? Because I can find boo. BU, right? Value units. So here's an example of value units. The ratio of $2, $5 notes is 2 is to 3. So I get a value of $2. Uh, unit is 2. Value of $5. Unit is 3. So I can come with this table. Okay? Can you see that? I come with this table. Value uh, 2, 5. And uh, units is three, 2 is to 3. So for value and units question, the first thing you need to do is to find VU 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 question My teacher student loves to call this VU VU question Because you find VU So you multiply 2 times 2 equals 4 5 times 3 equals 15 Now, so altogether how many VU? 19 VU And 19 VU is equivalent to $38 Right, so you want to find one VU 
how what's the value of one wool? Thirty eight divided by nineteen equals to two dollars. So one wool is two dollar. Uh, this is four wool, right? So four wool equals to eight dollars, and this is fifteen wool, so it's thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. So what does this mean? This means um, there are six five dollar notes because five dollar times six equals to thirty dollars, and uh, there are four two dollar notes. Woo woo pattern. Favorite, absolute favorite. Right. Moving on. 